Hello guys, today we will learn how to add a user using your Microsoft 365 admin application from your mobile phone. We'll go to your Play Store. In Play Store, you need to search for Microsoft 365 admin application. You need to click on install. Once the application is installed, you need to open it and sign it with your global admin credential. Once you are logged in to your Office 365 admin application, you will see a users tab on the screen. You need to click on users. Now you need to go to the plus sign on the top right and you'll get an option to enter the information manually or import it from your contacts. So you can choose the either option. I'll choose the first one. And over here, I'll get an option to enter the basic details for the user. First name, I'll choose it as Jennifer. Last name as David. And the display name will be auto picked. Now we need to create a username for the user, which will be his or her email address. I'll choose it as per my organization's policy, which is firstname.lastname at domain.com. So it will be jennifer.david at shantry.com. Password, you can either choose the one which is auto-generated or you can manually type it in and share it with the user. Next option will get us to change it on the first sign-in, the password. If you want to keep it checked, you can leave it as it is. Or if you want that the user should use the same password, you can uncheck it. However, the recommended option is to keep it checked. Next, we need to assign a license to the user. It will be Office 365 E5 that I am assigning. Last option we need to click on, done on the top right corner. Once done, you'll get the message which says the user was successfully added. You'll get an option to share the password with the user via email or through the text message. I'll cancel it here and if I refresh my application, you'll be able to see that a new user with the name Jennifer David has been created. Now I'll quickly show you how to delete this particular user from this application. If you scroll down, you'll see the fourth option from the top which says delete user. You'll get many other options as well such as reset password to assign license. That means if you want to change the license, if you want to enable multi-factor authentication, want to edit user, manage aliases, etc. So I'll quickly show you how to delete it. You'll click on delete user. It will ask you for the confirmation part. Once you delete, it will show the success message. Jennifer David was deleted. Click on close, click on back. And if you refresh, the user has been deleted. You will not be able to see any user with the name Jennifer David. That's all for today. Thank you. If you have any doubt in regards to this video, you can drop us your comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Kindly like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.